No distractions. Today is too important. Reshelving day. Understanding medieval equestria goes in Oni history. Modern spellcasting. That's classics. The art of the to-do list. Actually, I kind of want to read that again. <laughs> Spike, what are you laughing at? This little beauty is my birthday present to myself. It's a fire ruby. I've been aging it for months, and it's almost ripe. Just use the whole floor as one big shelf. My little pony, my little pony. books on historical fashion. Did you say delicious? Sure did. Next week's my birthday, and this is my birthday dinner. Start with this one. Thanks, Twilight. I've got a feeling Ruffle Top of the Capes are going to make a huge comeback this season, and I want to be ahead of the game. I hope it's as tasty as it is beautiful, Spike. I've never seen anything quite so stunning before. Gosh, you really like it, huh? Like it? It's magnificent! Huh. Then you should have it. This beautiful gem was meant to be with you. I don't know what to say. This is so thoughtful. Oh, my little spiky flaky! Thank you so much! Wow, Spike. That's one of the kindest, most generous things you've ever done. I've never seen Rarity so happy. I will never wash this cheek again. <sighs> Just about finished, Spike. Every pony will be here soon. There! Everything looks perfect. Not quite everything. A washcloth? I don't get it. Oh, no way, Twilight. I said I wasn't going to wash the cheek that Rarity kissed, and I meant it. It's over, Spike. I'm cleaning that cheek. <laughs> Birthday boy. Happy birthday, Spike. Don't you know you get presents on your birthday? Well, actually, this is my first birthday in Ponyville. I usually just get one present from Twilight. A book. Presents. This is 
from my new line of top of the cakes. I'm going to make one for each of you. Wow! wow. I've been inspired by the generosity of my little spiky wikey who gave me this beautiful fire ruby. One of the kindest acts I've ever experienced. Mm. Applejack, I can't thank you enough for this great blanket. I really needed a new one. Come on, Spike. You already thanked me 15 times. I'm starting to get a little embarrassed. I know I keep thanking you guys, but I'm just so grateful. I wish this party could last forever. Duh! The party can't last forever because you have to go to Sugar Cube Corner because the cake said they have a special surprise for you because it's your birthday! No way! I said the party could last forever, but it doesn't need to end right now! Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Cake! There's the dragon of the hour. Happy birthday, Spike! Thanks. When we found out it was your birthday, we couldn't resist trying out a new recipe. Sapphire. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Man, first I get a bunch of great presents from my best friends, and now an amazing sapphire cupcake. Oh, what a day. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry, Cheerilee. That's okay. What's got you so excited? Pinkie Pie told me I should come see the cake so they could give me a treat because it's my birthday today. Well, happy birthday, Spike. I wish I had something to give you. Uh... Oh! Here you go. Wow, really? Sure. Every pony should get fun gifts on their birthday. Have a great birthday, Spike. I wish every day was my birthday. Pinkie Pie mentions my birthday to the cakes, and I get a cupcake. I mention it to Cheer Lee, and I get this great hat. Hmm, I wonder. Split? That's a pretty cool ball you got there. Did you know it's my birthday? <laughs> this is unbelievable! <laughs> hey, Junebug! It's my birthday! <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Spike! Well, aren't you gonna give me something? You know, like a birthday present? Um, I, I don't have anything. Well, how about those flowers? I'll take those. Spike! Uh, sorry, Junebug. I think Spike might have gotten a little carried away. Uh, no problem. Uh, happy birthday, Spike! What are you doing? You're out here demanding gifts now? Wow. You're right, Twilight. I don't know what got into me. Thanks for snapping me out of it. I better go give Cheerily your hat back. No problem. See you at home later? Sounds good! Bye! <laughs> Who else has a present for Spikey Wikey? Wow, what a rough night's sleep, Spike. I had the weirdest dream. <sighs> yeah. I can't believe you. Where'd you get all this? <gasps> what happened? What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. 
Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so... grabby. My arms aren't usually this long, either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh. Well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. Ooh, he is starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then, the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> you mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. <laughs> Get away from her, you brute! Spike, what? You're not getting my scooter! <laughs> Spike, what? Hey, Spike, check out this amazing broom. Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible room. Fight all you want. I'm not letting you out. I just reshelved this room. Uh, what now? Now, who in Ponyville would steal my apples? For that matter, who would steal my leaves? Applejack, help! Spike's running wild, and I need you to lasso him. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Twilight. Sweet little Spike running wild. <laughs> what a laugh. Twilight, get my rope. Get us 
out of here right now. <gasps> what was that? Sounded like Fluttershy to me. Fluttershy? Fluttershy! I'm up here! What happened? I was helping my squirrel friends with a dance step, and all of a sudden, a giant rampaging dragon stormed through. That was Spike! Spike? But why would Spike steal my chicken coop? He just pulled it out of the ground and filled it with a bunch of apples and stuff. That sounded like Pinkie Pie. Come on, girls. Back! Get the back! understand because you're a dragon and all. But this... Right. 
Flash? tell you how absolutely proud I am of you. Proud of me? Yes. It was you who stopped, well, you, from destroying Ponyville. You are my hero, Spikey Wikey. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned a great lesson about friendship. Well, you might think that it would feel good to get lots and lots of stuff. But it doesn't feel nearly as good as giving something special to some pony you really care about. Well, I learned that it truly is better to give than to receive. And that kindness and generosity are what lead to true friendship. And that's more valuable than anything in the world. Well, almost anything. 